head to the gym, get some work in. You know, I gotta get some fuel in the whip. Or you can't get to point A to point B. Yeah, last time y'all seen me, I didn't have my L, so you, I made sure that I had to put the work in, you know. I did my little studying for like an hour. It took me one day past that first time. Then I rescheduled. I was so confident I rescheduled the next day for my drive. Now y'all see me with my L's. You can't be saying nothing about me now. So the passion comes from that. Once you have that love, which is what you're part of all the time. And as the years go on, the separation that you have with your competitors, your peers, it just grows larger and larger and larger and larger. Wow. Dude, we here to get explosive, you know. That was one thing this summer I wanted to improve on. I've been working with them for a good two months. I've already seen improvements, you know, I've been jumping higher. So, you know, since the last time y'all seen me, you know, a lot's changed. Recruitment picking up a lot. You know, a lot of the schools that's been on my, my board, my dream, I picked up a lot of them. So, like, most recent, I just picked up Ken. I got that was just more dedication, but I still gotta work, so that's why you see me here coming in. One up, one down. Internal rotation, okay? Really open as slow as possible and drop into nine, in another 90 degree, right? Alley Whack Production. some lateral movements, working on defensive shuffle, right? I want you, when you're doing this drill, make sure you guys are getting low, okay? Stay on the balls of your feet, chest up. When you shuffle, I want you to stay. One, two, down, go! Five at Garfield. Next up. That's where the obsessiveness is having attention to detail for the action that you are performing at the time you're performing it. And if you can have that kind of focus, you can't help but to have a certain level of obsession or attention to detail.
be in here working. do this consistently over time, this, the, the gap's just going to widen and widen and widen and widen and widen. What do you do on your free time besides basketball? When you're not playing basketball, what do you do? I mean, no, no workouts, no, I'm just on your free time. What do you do on your free time? Uh, stretch review on my phone. You have any, any other hobbies? No. Just basketball workouts. Just who, who been working out? Working out is my hobby. I like it. Well, that's what's having a different hobby. I at least read a book, go for a walk, got a dog, play with a dog, go in the park, you know. It's like each chapter is about the NBA player story. So yeah. chapter one is Kobe Kobe Bryant's mentality. How, yes. So I gotta read that. And then like chapter six is like Steve Nash, how he sees the floor. Yes. So those are good things. Like stuff like that. I like that Zoop. Keep it up, bro. Guys, we got one more round, right? Go. What do you do? How do you do with stress? I don't pay attention to it. I just zone it out. Okay. Like if it's coming through my phone, I'll just put my phone to the side. Probably go talk to my family or something. Back in, like Zoom said, I try to get in the gym as fast as possible. Fix the mistakes I had, what I did wrong, ask the coaches what I could have done better, and then improve the next day. Ten more seconds, guys. Let's go. One, good job. Now I'm gonna finish off planks and stuff now, okay? Planks. Facts. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep working. Let's go plank, guys. Let's go plank. On to the next. On to the next. Let's go. Almost there, guys. Don't stop, man. We got 15 more seconds. Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's go. Squeeze. Let's go, guys.
not for anybody else, but for yourself. Everybody has their own. It's your job to try to perfect it and make it as beautiful of a canvas as you can make it. And if you have done that, then you have lived a successful life. You have lived with love mentality. I pray a blessing upon these guys. I pray they can do really well in their basketball career. Bless them, bless the family. Help them to keep their eyes on you. Help us, help us to be always thankful. Help us, help us to be always kind. We love you, Father. Bless this God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, you know, it's, it's good to touch up on stuff besides basketball workouts. So, a lot of, you know, movement stuff, getting low, getting explosive. So, that's one of the main goals I wanted to work on this summer going into my junior year was getting explosive. It is like a 40-minute drive, 35-minute drive. But, you know, I'm willing to do that sacrifice to get up there because I'm investing in myself to get better. That pro -Am game, I mean, I went into that game, I low-key had like a goal. So like knowing that there was going to be all the top players in my state and top players in the classes and stuff, I wanted to go out there and made it, make a statement. You know, people in my city and my state know who I am, but I wanted to solidify my name more. So I was excited going in there knowing that there was going to be a lot of fans out there. Everyone has to be certain before you come in. So if you do not cooperate, you will not be getting in. So Right now we finna head to, you know, Chipotle, 
you know, get some good nutrients in our body. You know, we just came from, you know, the gym, working out, burning all that stuff. So, you know, like every camp I've been to, they've always emphasized on how to eat, how to eat good, how to eat like a pro. So lately, I've been trying my best to, you know, cut, cut out fast food as much. So I've been, you know, trying to get in with the Chipotle, Qdoba type of stuff. And the cut, because I love Chick-fil-A. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I love Chick -fil uh, Chick-fil-A. So I be, I be, I'm trying to cut down on that because, you know, you got to eat like a pro to be a pro. What I learned is to don't be late. Always be on time. Getting closer, like they had like motivational speakers and just finding your why and stuff like that. And uh, getting closer to God too. Because, you know, basketball, only last for so long so like at the end of the day you gotta find who you really are and stuff like that and when times get tough uh, make you guys successful as professionals if that if that day does come it's not just gonna be your talent or your ability because everybody has that it's gonna be the other thing you know the character the work ethic um, how you treat people how coachable you are yeah, just how you apply your mind stance. i learned a lot you know just playing with the top players and stuff like that so I, like I was in drills with top college kids like Keontae George, Caleb Love, and just competing with them. That was just a good experience. Can I get two scoops of each rice? That's the key right there. I'm telling you, two scoops of rice. Can I get Just one scoop. That already that already looked big already, and I'm not even done yet. Already. Cheese and lettuce. Would you like any ketchup? Nah, can I get a water cup though? Sure. Make sure everywhere you go you get awards. You see the 1,000 points? Good. I know everybody do this, but don't do this. Don't get a water cup and get juice instead. But shit.